The group of researchers who trained rats to play Doom in virtual reality just gave them a major upgrade. Now they can actually fire at their enemies. In case you're not familiar, because why would you not be familiar with this? You can put rats and mice into virtual reality. One of the perhaps important things to note is that having mice run VR mazes is not new, and it's often done in medical sciences, particularly neurosciences. This can involve a panorama or tiny goggles, which mice wear kind of like the Oculus Rift. Researchers have also been trying to incorporate more sensations like sound that can come from a certain direction so they can convince the mice they are actually in this environment. Typically, we'll see this in areas of neuroscience that monitor the progression of neurodegenerative diseases, or say if you gave a mouse an induced stroke and then replaced part of its brain with a human brain organoid, yes, the tiny human brains you can grow from stem cells, they might want to test how well it's able to move in a 3D space. Yes, we used to put mice in physical mazes, but that's kind of gone by the wayside. I don't know about you, but the idea of setting up a tiny virtual reality system for a mouse sounds like it's now introducing more variables rather than less. I guess one of the benefits is that you can model and design the maze and change it so you don't have to physically build anything, but I always enjoyed the building part of science. You can model how an animal is memorizing their physical space by monitoring their brain patterns, and some researchers have even deleted memories. Yeah, that, that happened. You can just turn off neural pathways and they won't have the fearful reaction anymore. It gets wild. And I really like this one. They demonstrated that mice can learn to move things with only their brain and even teleport. Aside from just being really cool, they also learned that, yes, mice like us also have three-dimensional maps in their brains. I do have a question, though. So not everyone has an internal monologue. Not everyone has internal imagery. How do you know your way around your house? You must have a map in there somewhere, even if it's not conscious. And I wonder if that's what animals experience but we could probably soon demonstrate exactly what is going on in their heads when they think about this stuff. I did recently read a paper, and I did cover it, where they found out that mice were physically taking the action in their brains before they actually took the action, and that's very similar to what people do. But back to Doom. Mice are put in this little panorama, and they have a ball that they can walk on so they can move forward in the virtual world. They also get a little puff of air to their face to let them know that they have hit a wall, and they learn it pretty well. Now, they've given them an actual trigger that they can pull to get their enemies in the game. Now, in terms of what this actually teaches us, that yes, mice will use a firearm if trained to, and given a good enough reward to use it, I feel like there's a whole unexplored area of the Rats of Nim that maybe I need to write and they have a guide to put this together, all the materials you need to get if you want to do it too. I don't particularly know why you would want to do this too, but just know that you can. When the robots rebel were maybe the lab animals, I'll be the first to tell you. Follow for more.